Hello and welcome to the 20th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom and consider subscribing, if you have or not already, to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, where you can get notifications on the live streams of our Sunday morning Bible studies, our Sunday morning worship services, and at 6 p.m. on Sundays, a worship service done by our pastor, Mark. So we have a lot of content available there. Let me begin, as I usually do, with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for the patience and the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, I'm going to do something a little bit differently today in that uh, I'm going to be reading from Proverbs chapter eight, but instead of normally as I read a verse or two and give you my reflections upon these, I'm gonna be reading uh, where Solomon uses personification. And if you don't know that term, it's where the, the writer takes something abstract, something non-human and gives it human qualities. Now, I'm going to read this personification in chapter 8. However, I'm going to begin at the verse after he identifies what he is personifying. And I think by doing this, it makes the verses read more like a riddle. And what's fun about riddles is trying to figure out what it is that's being described and where your mind goes as you're trying to figure it out. So read along with the verses and see where your mind goes with this. I'll tell you what it is afterwards, but I don't want you to cheat. I don't want you to find the answer in Proverbs 8. And if you already know, pretend you don't for now. So ready? Here we go. What am I? Okay, by me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, all who judge rightly. I love those who love me and those who diligently seek me will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield is better than choicest silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. From everlasting I was established, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth, when there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While he had not yet made the earth in the fields, nor the first dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When the springs of the deep became fixed. When he set for the sea its boundary. So that the water would not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Did you guess what it was? Did you know the answer before the riddle? If neither, I'll give you a hint. It is what Solomon prayed to God for above all the riches he already had. I bet you know now, it's wisdom. Kings rule well with wisdom. Rulers truly dispense justice with wisdom. Wisdom is needed by all who rule or judge others. Wisdom will love you if you love it. If you seek it diligently, you will find wisdom. Honor, riches are with those with wisdom. Indeed, if those things are to endure and if you are to possess righteousness with them. The fruit you receive from wisdom, the amount you yield from wisdom is far richer than gold or silver. 
wisdom walks, walks along the good path and true treasure comes from it. Most importantly, God possesses wisdom and has possessed it long before he even formed the world and all its beauties. That makes the heavens and earth full of wisdom and righteousness. And as he made them, wisdom worked them. And this pleased God well and made wisdom a joy we can all possess through study of his word and his works. I hope you enjoyed this and found this a fascinating riddle. So I will talk to you next time and hopefully it will help your thoughts.